Hi, this is Jeff Minter with Automotive Research and Design. I'm here today with another one of P10's Hybrid Vehicle Tech Tips. For this tech tip, we're going to go over the cooling system utilized to keep the battery temperature from getting too hot during normal operation. Before we discuss the actual cooling system design and configurations, let's take a look at why we need to cool the batteries. The primary reasons are that heat can really damage the batteries, it can cause a battery pack imbalance over time, it can shorten the battery life, and a really big one that the customer may notice is it can actually reduce the available power and or energy, which can affect both vehicle performance as well as fuel economy. This basic block diagram here just simply shows the battery pack configuration, including some of the components that are related to cooling that pack. One of them is obviously going to be the cooling fan that's shown in green here and highlighted in the upper right hand corner. The other things that are going to be involved in this are going to be things like the battery temperature sensors as well as the airflow sensor that's utilized on some of these battery packs to ensure that not only is the fan running but it's actually moving air through the system. This first example is a Ford Escape battery pack and as you can see in the bottom area where we have the red arrow show in there, this pack actually has two fans. It has one that's going to draw air into the pack and another one that's going to pull it back out. The purpose of this obviously is to get as much airflow through these battery sticks as possible. And as you can see from this pack, this pack is very, very tightly designed. In other words, there's not a lot of room in here for air to freely flow through it. So they utilize two fans to make sure that they can get the volume of air necessary to keep this pack from getting excessively hot. This example is a 2004 to 2009 Toyota Prius, also known as a second gen here in the United States. This is still one of the most common, if not the most common, hybrid vehicles on the road in the United States. As you can see, this cooling system consists of many different parts, including some ductwork as well as the cooling fan. These are all designed to draw air from the cabin of the vehicle through the battery pack and exhaust it outside of the battery pack as a way to help maintain that battery within a, an ideal operating temperature during its normal use. This was obviously just a very brief overview of a few of the cooling systems on a few of the different models of hybrids that are currently out there. It's important to realize that all of the hybrid batteries currently in production will have some sort of a cooling system on them. That system must be operating properly or we can run into some significant problems with these vehicles. In particular, you can have some decreased performance concerns, you can have trouble codes and possibly malfunction indicator lights illuminated. And lastly, you may actually have a decreased battery life expectancy because as you already know from a traditional 12 volt battery, batteries don't like heat and these very large batteries in the hybrid drive systems are no different. If they have excessive heat buildup in them, they will have a decreased life expectancy and as you probably already know, these are fairly expensive components. Thank you for joining us for this tech tip related to hybrid battery cooling systems. If you'd like to get some more information, please join us for the P10 training segment on hybrid battery cooling systems where we'll go a little more in depth.